Holy Spirit, everyone who has clicked on this video, my prayer is you open their eyes. Forex is spiritual more than physical. And if your eyes can get opened, you will be able to trade with ease, with a lot of confidence, with a lot of knowledge and wisdom. Holy Spirit, you're my mentor. You have given me this knowledge to share with the world. Let everyone who is watching this video, their life to be transformed, their trading to be transformed. Let them start seeing things that they could not see before. Guys, welcome to uh, lesson 15. Every Wednesday, I'll be doing back testing. So I have three videos for today that I have prepared for you. I'll be releasing them uh, in a while, as in later in the day. But this video is full of wisdom because we are trying to back test and to see, to prepare our mind. What are you supposed to see whenever you are trading? What are you supposed to see whenever you are analyzing? Sometimes you need God himself to open that eyes. You need God to give you that knowledge. Some people may say that Forex is not spiritual, but I'm coming here to tell you, even if you use which strategy at the end of the day, these market makers, whoever influences the market will bring some so many tricks on you and you might miss them. So Holy Spirit, as they listen to the voice that you have given me, I pray God, you God, you're the one who has revealed this to me. May you reveal them your knowledge through this Forex market. So I want us to discuss GBP card. I want to show you something mind blowing, like bring a notebook. I want to show you how market shift, like every back testing will be doing is just to show you how the market shift every single time. You were not ready. The market is like a chameleon. It keeps changing the color. So if you're careless, you will think chameleon is white, but it already it has gone to a red service. It's already red. So you, you're thinking, oh, I'm trading a double top. Automatically, after like one hour, one day, or one week, the market changes. It is a double bottom. It changes. It's a it's a ranging market. It changes. It's another thing. So I want to encourage you. Whenever you are trading, whenever you are analyzing, you have to be have you have to have an open mind, and of course you have to welcome the Holy Spirit. This thing forex, it is easier. We are not refusing, but the trick and the and the the information that is the small information that is twisted for you to lose it, it's what the market makers enjoy when they see retail traders getting into traps. So. Sorry for all that introduction. Let's get into details. So we are we want to trade GBP card and we want to analyze it. This is what always you have to do. You have to go to monthly time frame because top-down analysis is the best. So according to top-down analysis, when you open your market, I told you you have to check three things. One, market structure. Two, price action. Three, forex pattern. You have to trade around those three things, around those three things. So if you have a notebook, you have to write that every time I'm analyzing a pair, I have to check number one, market structure. Market structure. Number two, I have to check what? Price action. And number three, I have to check what? Forex pattern. So if you miss one of these three things, automatically you are looking for failing. Your chances of winning are 50-50. So we will start with the market structure of GBP card. So if I try to bring my trade together, what do you think GBP card is doing? The market structure, some may say it's a ranging channel. Or comment down below, let me know what, uh, what you think. Some may think it's a ranging channel and other may think it's an uptrend. The market has been going up since September last year. Since September, the market has been on an uptrend. So, and, and you see those are many months of market being bullish and there is no red candle. So there's someone who will argue, according to my perspective, it's an uptrend. There's someone who will say, according to what I'm saying, I'm seeing it's a 
ranging. So guys, comment down below. Let me know. Is it a ranging market or an uptrend? What would you categorize this uh, structure? Would you call it a ranging channel or an uptrend? Comment down below. For me, I would call it an uptrend. But also, I would keep in mind that it has been ranging for a very long time. So because the candles since last year, it has been green, 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 green. I cannot say it's a downtrend. Of course, it's a more of an uptrend, okay? Now, we are not analyzing this candle that has formed. You see, there's this candle that is forming. We are analyzing the price action is previous candles. The previous candles, you can see their indecision candles, very dangerous candles. Anytime you have a market that has indecision candles, it tells you that the market can do anything. It can either buy, it can either sell. And of course, if the, the indecision candles are coming after an uptrend, it tells you that buyers have a low momentum. They are like, they don't have more momentum pushing the market up. That's what it means. So anytime you see indecision candles, you can't keep on buying. Because we can't keep on buying and buyers are like, they don't have more strength to push the market up. So according to our price action, we still don't have anything. We don't have anything. Now, according to according to uh, Forex pattern, according to Forex pattern, the only pattern we had was this ranging channel. That was the clearest, the most clear pattern that we could see was this ranging channel. And this ranging channel, I don't think it if it completed the pattern or it went half, let's see how did it perform? Because the most guaranteed of a, of a pattern is going at least half. Can you see they completed the pattern? When people say patterns don't work, I really pity them, why? Why would you say patterns don't work? And yet when the market broke, they targeted half of this ranging you can see the pattern was obeyed but as we are as we are on the monthly time frame we do not have now another pattern on the monthly and that make us go to, now to lower time frame weekly time frame so what monthly has helped us to understand is that the market structure is a buy since last year but the price action is telling us to avoid this buy because the rejection is too much but now we do not have a confirmation on the Forex pattern. So let's go to the weekly time frame. So when I go to the weekly time frame, I like deleting everything and starting afresh. So I will delete, I will delete everything and start afresh. So I delete everything and I start afresh. So we will start again. Market structure, price action, forex pattern. Market structure is an uptrend. I hope this is clear. Market is going on an uptrend. It's an uptrend. So who is in control? Buyers. And then when we talk of uh, price action, we can see the candle that it is represented here, it's a spinning top, meaning it's a rejection candle. Spinning top is in the category of a rejection candle because the, the buyers are getting rejected. When we observe there is a resistance here that the market is rejecting. So we can see the resistance. Buyers came here, got rejected, and also they have come to this zone and they have got rejected. So can you see when you use market structure and then you go to price action, you start understanding what is happening. And the last but not least, the last but not least is what? We want to understand uh, the Forex pattern. Comment down below. What do you think we have? What kind of a pattern do we have here? Do you know the pattern we have here? Can you tell the pattern we have here? If you said double top, you are correct. Notice on the monthly time frame we could not come with a conclusion of a double top. We could not. So if you have a double top and it's a possible double top, 
So we have a possible double top. So we have a possible double top like that. And then we mark our neckline. That's our neckline. And then we mark our what? We mark our half. So having analyzing this, it is giving you confidence because we could not do this on the monthly. There was nothing to do that. There was no double top. The question is, how do you get, what's the entry of a double top on the weekly? Which strategy do we use? We use which strategy? WBB strategy. WBB strategy. So the WBB strategy has three entry signal. Number one, wait for a red candle. Number two, check if the candle has it a bearish angle. Number three, if not WBB. So the question is, yes, we have a red candle. Has it engulfed? Do we have a bearish engulf? The answer is yes. I'm taking you slowly by slowly because at, at the first time you're analyzing the market, your mind is fresh. You can get everything. The problem comes when you start being familiar with the same pattern, with the same setup, with the same pair. They will now twist it. So the chameleon now is still white. It has not changed. The chameleon is white. You pay attention. I'll show you how this chameleon will start changing in your eyes. So the, the possible double top, uh, have, uh, the bearish engulf, we have a bearish engulf. So in your mind, you're thinking, ah, this market has to sell how many pips? 213 pips. I'll come and I do short position and I sell up to half. 213 pips. There is no problem if you say that. But let me tell you one thing. One thing you need to understand with the market is that if one time frame tells you to sell and they know they cannot do anything with that time frame, there is no way they can redo the bearish and gas. There is no way they can, they can now assume that this market will not sell. Weekly, they are done. They cannot manipulate weekly. They cannot change weekly. They cannot do anything. So what market makers do? Once they give you an idea that weekly is a sell, they will leave weekly time frame and they start messing around with daily because they know many people who will enter such a trade, what they will do, they will want to sell it down. So what I've come to realize is that whenever you have a double a possible double double top. You need to ask yourself two questions. And I keep saying this in my YouTube channel. Anytime you analyze this, before even you enter sell, you have to ask yourself these two questions. And this is what we'll ask ourselves. These two questions. I have a double top. My double top can give me a sell, break half, break neckline, and complete. That is the first scenario of double top. And the, the, the saddest thing is that everyone will hope, everyone will hope that this scenario is the only thing. So everyone will hope that this scenario is the only thing because the market will break, the market will break the half. It will first give you an entry, like a bullish bearish angle, break half, hit TP1, break half, go to TP2, break neckline, continue that distance. This is a complete double top. And if this happens, you are lucky because there is no stress. But there's another double top that yes, the market has created a double top neckline, second attempt, but it fails to break the half, fails to break the half, fails to break the half. And eventually, break the double top and continue up. This is what we call a cup and handle. And I've kept saying, I will show you how to trade cup and handle. So if you want that tutorial, if you want that lesson, you know, I've prepared a hundred lesson for you. So if you want that lesson, let me know. I will drop that video. Comment down below, say cup and handle. I'll drop that video. 
So you need to understand, even as you're trading, the same double top that you're hoping the market will sell, understand that it can still turn on you and become a buy. That understanding alone, it's God-given. Because let me tell you, as much as I keep saying here, you have to go back and tell God, help me to understand this for you. Help me to understand that a double bottom or a double top can do two things. It can give me a cup and handle or it can give me a complete double top. A complete double top is the one that goes breaking half neckline, goes to TP3, TP4. So you see, now this one I have taught you and I have taught you again. I have taught you and I have taught you again. So the only thing now here you need to understand is that by the time you are seeing a double top, you need to ask your question, yourself a question. I will not, I will be very alert. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Jesus, you are my mind. You know, we, we, have, we are told that Jesus has become your wisdom. You have the mind of Christ. Always say that. I have the mind of Christ. This chameleon will not change and I will not know. Because time is ticking for chameleon to be white from white to red. And they know when they will change. Because as we stand with this double top, they all know the only way to make this, there's two things. They can make this a complete double top. That is a fact. They can make it. Or they can still make it a cup and handle. It's not you to decide what they will do. They decide you, you follow. So the prayer here we are praying is, Father, as they change, help me to, uh, to realize earlier. Help me to do what? To realize earlier. So we go to lower time frame because, of course, we are selling, but we want to be up to date with this set. So we go to daily, guys. Remember, sell has already been given. So we go to daily. Notice on the daily time frame, uh, from the daily, from the daily, we have a very strong, uh, strong area. This is a strong area. You see this strong area, which the market, which is not even visible on the weekly. So if you never flip on the daily, you will never notice that support zone. So let me go to weekly and tell me, can you see anything? You can't. So what you'll do, because you know this market might even not go to half, might not go to half. So you're on the daily time frame. What you do, you will change your take profit from the half to this zone. You see, you have changed from the half to this zone. So instead of targeting 200 and something pips, instead of targeting, remember, in the beginning, we were targeting 208. You will target almost 80 something pips or even you can target 75 pips you can even be crazy and target to that level but what i say is that this zone you can divide it by half that is your take profit that zone the center of it is the take profit the perfect take profit so we instead of targeting 205, we are targeting 98 pips. So we target 98 pips because we know that they can activate this double top, double bottom. And once they activate double bottom, what do you think will happen? The market will start going up. This market will start going up. So we already know that. Okay. So the first day of our trade, the market goes and touch our zone. The first day, give us 81 pips. So because the TP is not anywhere near, if you see this and you see this reaction, and you can notice this market was first a sell and it has closed to be a buy. So, of course, you have been, you have missed the mark. If you had targeted here half of this, you have missed the mark. So any zone, 
anytime you are targeting TP, you target this area because they can activate a double bottom. They can activate it. So let's continue and see what happened next. See, the market, the market has now taken you on a drawdown. Notice we entered around here. You have been taken a drawdown of almost 164. 164. So what you do, notice if weekly has told you to sell for one week, it is usually sell for that one week. You can even place another trade. So you have another trade here. And all the both trades are the take profit is at that level. So you have two trades and the market starts to come down, come down. These are many days of waiting. And that's why we are told, be very careful. The market still come back to the zone. You can see. Now, you will notice if at all we had targeted the take profit at here, we could not have wasted a lot of this time. The fact that we missed the TP with how many pips, like I think it was five pips or 10 pips. And I'm, I'm telling you what people do so that you might avoid with 19 pips. So the market has come back to that area and the TP has been hit. You can see every time you want to target, the zone that you want to target, they will hit the TP, but they will not tell you we will hit today. So it will remain how many days? One, two, three, four, five. One week is done. One, two, three, four, five. So you have waited for two weeks for TP to be, a, to be hit. So if you had added another trade, you would have made 234, which is good. So even if I wait for two weeks and I make 234 plus the 100 pips, I am not bad. But the thing is, you need to understand one thing, that you cannot sell again. Why? Because now this market is ranging. Can you see? The market has attempted one, has attempted twice, and has attempted thrice. So this is no longer a double bottom. It's a ranging. A double bottom, when it fails to break neckline, automatically it will form a ranging market. So when you are trading this, already the chameleon is, is now attempting to change from white to red. Anyone now who is trading on the, anyone who is trading on the weekly, they are still hoping that the, that the, let me show you those who are trading weekly, what they have. They are still flipping on the weekly and they are saying, but on the weekly, we are still going strong. This sell will drop. You see, they are still hoping the market will go come here to the neckline. Even if you are doing analysis and you see a bearish candle, you will have that hope of the market will do what? You can see this a bearish momentum candle. So when you're analyzing on the weekly, after the weekly candle has closed, you still have hope the market will still sell. What you don't know is that on the daily, they have now moved from a double top from the weekly, they have taken a new pattern. And this is a, the new pattern, guys. So we have pattern two. Immediately we have pattern two, the chameleon has changed. So this is our pattern two. Pattern two, it's on which time frame? I told you they cannot take pattern two on the weekly because already they know weekly, you know it's a double top. So pattern two, it will be taken to the daily time frame where people are not familiar. So pattern two is ranging ranging, that's pattern two, you see? So pattern two, you have a ranging. And then pattern one is what? Don't forget, pattern one is double top. I want to show you the shifting of the market. Pattern one, it's a double top. So the only way you can be safe when you're analyzing is knowing the shifting of patterns. So the only way we know how to trade patterns, how do we trade patterns, guys? How do we trade patterns? We trade patterns if at all this pattern will break either side. So we are not even biased like, oh, it will sell or buy. Let my channel break on the downside or let it break on the, on the upside or downside. 
So we are not biased. Oh, it's a sell. Oh, it's a buy. No. You are saying if it breaks on the upside, I will buy. The only thing I can't do is to buy where it is because it will be a trap. Because they can still obey the pattern one and you can't do anything. So they are just waiting to see. Are people ignorant of pattern one? Are they familiar that we have introduced pattern two? And if people are still on pattern one, pattern two, it will be effective very easily. Why? Because nobody cares of the pattern two, yet it is there in your eyes, but you're seeing pattern. And that's why I'm seeing, unless the Holy Spirit helps you, these things, you can't get revelation just by watching and analyzing. Sometimes even you need to pray when you're analyzing to, to remove any blockage from your mind. Sometimes you might be depressed and only the only thing you can see in your chart is what the enemy is helping you to see. So if you know how to trade a channel, a channel you trade it, uh, you target TP1 because TP2 is not guaranteed. So whenever we are trading a channel, we will go to TP1, TP2 not guaranteed. You can, it can hit TP2, but TP1 is what is guaranteed. So when it hits TP1, you leave that trade and look for another pattern to help you trade it TP2 or trade it down. And you see, I'm not biased saying, oh, it will buy, oh, it will sell. I want to react. So I'll still bring the downside and I don't want to delete that's why you can't see me deleting because I want to see, I want to show you what really goes on in a simple chart. In a simple chart. So there's nothing that I'm deleting to be there. Hope you will follow to the letter. And by the way, if you have not subscribed to the channel, how can you be watching me without subscribing? Make sure you subscribe and you have liked this video. Now, we are patient to see the direction the market will break. So it's either they break this direction. Let me remove the yellow things. It's either they break this direction or they give us a what? They break the resistance. It's either they break the support or the resistance. So we are waiting, 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 waiting. Don't be tempted to buy. You know, people buy. You can be tempted to buy immediately, you put a buy trade, sure, it goes down. So as the, the rule is wait for it to break, wait for it to break. So we are almost breaking, we are almost breaking. So let me put this double top. I want the double top, notice the double top, in fact, is available on the weekly time frame. So what I'll do, I will make sure this one is only available on the weekly. So it won't be available on the daily or on the four hour. So on the daily, we do not have a double top because the double top is we, we were trading it on the weekly so that you don't get confused. So what happens is that as we are waiting, guess what? The channel breaks. Oh my God. Notice. There are so many people who have been trapped for how many days? One, two, three, four, five, five good days. Everyone who was selling with weekly double top, they're in trouble. They're in trouble, why? The market has gone up, how many people? 373. And you notice there are so many people who sell after the party is over, after the market has decided a new pattern. So. We are entering a buy, not even concerned with the double top on the weekly, we enter a buy up to TP1. And we want to know how many pips will we get? 141 pips, 141. So our pattern two that is ranging is what is about to reward us, not the double top because the chameleon has already changed, now it's red. If you don't realize that the market structure of the market that you are trading is like a chameleon, it keeps changing. You can't trade one pattern forever. It will keep changing. So let's see if we get the 400, the 140. 
it, we don't even struggle. You don't even struggle. Why? The TP was hit. Can you see, guys? Am I clear? The TP was hit. You can't even struggle because they know majority are selling. Majority are selling. Now, by the time this is happening, that's when people realize, oh my God, this is a ranging market. That's when they are realizing, when it is too late. They are realizing ranging market when TP1 has been activated. And you see, my strategy tells me well, when I'm applying, when I'm trading ranging market, I don't trade TP2 because it's not guaranteed. Trading to TP2, it's like suicide. It's like entering somewhere and you know survival rate is 50-50. I cannot. I want where there's 95% chance of me winning. So many people now, they will notice that this is a ranging and everyone wants to gain. So what do people do? They will come and continue with the chameleon. They don't know that the chameleon is about to change from red now to black. It is about to go to a black service, but you are still dependent on the ranging. Let me tell you something. If you're watching and you're listening to my voice, the market makers, the work of the market makers is to give you a pattern. Once they give you a pattern, they have won. Why? Because they have given you a bait. So if they give you a ranging pattern and already you had not seen it, the time you are seeing it, they have now, they have a pattern on their own. So for me, when it reaches here, I'm thinking, God, Holy Spirit, open my eyes. What could be, could this market be going above to TP2? But my spirit knows there is no way it can go to TP2 because if it goes to TP2, majority of retail traders will win. And that is contrary. It is against the market makers because if we win, they are not winning. If we lose, they win. So they don't want a chance where the retail traders is winning. So for them, they know if we continue buying to TP2, everyone will win this trade. So what they do, they look for another pattern. So notice the retail traders, they don't have a business of looking for a pattern. They do not have a business of looking for a pattern, but the market makers already know we have a pattern. So if I squeeze this chart, tell me what you see. If I squeeze this chart, the retail trader doesn't understand what is happening. So I will still make this not, not be visible on the, on, the, on the daily. So I squeeze this chart, I squeeze this chart, and I'm hoping to find an area where the market has ha, is now. And guess what? I find one candle, guys, one green gravestone candle that has confirmed and authorized a resistance. And for me, because I know the market makers, anytime they can shift, I pick it as a resistance area. Because this one candle, they can use it. Now tell me, if a retail trader is not even keen with such candles, if they don't even know that one candle can cause a resistance, if they don't know that this candle can be used, how, how will they ever notice? So I will draw this box. And as long as, as long as the market has attempted this area, guess what, guys? I have a possible double top. Possible double tops makes the market sell. Ranging market is making people to buy. So the retail trader has won. Why? They have now a chance to sell the market. They have a chance to sell the market. So you, you are left hanging. So I will squeeze this until I see if it has been activated. So we squeeze like that squeeze again you can notice where we have taken that double top you can notice where we have taken that double top now we are coming to an area and i'll tell you which date was that one candle and i bring it and immediately check check guys immediately that's where the market is not moving that's where the market is not moving 
The people are looking for TP2, but already the market makers know there is a zone that can give us a double top. And with this double top, we have, we have a reason to sell this market. You can see, let me show you that double top. This is the double top here. And it's only one candle, one green candle. This is mind blowing. That's why I told you, that's why I started with a prayer because the on, only prayers, only the Holy Spirit who can show you such a candle. Only the Holy Spirit who can tell you, be attentive, my daughter, be attentive, my son. There's a candle and they can use it. So have you seen the candle that you're using? So from that, we already know that this market, it might not be going anywhere. It might be creating a double top. So do we have pattern three? Automatically, the chameleon has officially, it has changed to black. So pattern three, is what? Possible double top, now on daily. Remember, we have possible double top on the, we have possible double top on the weekly, and now we have it on the daily. Three patterns. Still, there's someone who is trading the first pattern. They don't know things are changing. Here, it is easier. What do you need to use? You need to use what? WBB. That's what you need to use, WBB. So as we are using WBB, as we are using WBB, the WBB strategy is very easy. It tells you, you put a box, you see? And then you wait for the candle to break. Notice from where the market is to the neckline, let me show you. From the where the market is, this market is telling you, I will sell up to there. This is where the market is telling you, I'll sell up to here. And because this sell is very, very big, the sell is very big. Like if they tell you, I will say this is the half. So we will pick half of the half. Whenever you have a very big zone, we'll pick half of the half. So initially, the market is telling you, we are coming up to here. Half of the half is that zone. Let me put the blue line. So the market has a possibility of coming to that area. You see this area? That is where the market can come. If they hit that, they can now change the subject. Now, we have a red candle. We are in pattern two. Let's see what happens. Next candle. So after you have put that uh, box and the green candle comes, you remove the box. The reason why I have put this zone because if it breaks, of course, we do not have a, that pattern. So we are waiting now for a red candle to form again. So let's see if we have a red candle. So you can see we have a red candle here, guys, and it has engulfed. We have an engulf. Can you see? The red candle has engulfed the green candle. We have a red candle that is engulfing what? The green candle. So the minute now we have an entry, we have an entry here for sale. We have an entry for what? For sale. So what I want to show you is that by the time you are trading double bottom or double top or whichever pattern, the only thing that can save you is understanding the shifting or the end of that pattern. The minute you understand the, the shifting of that pattern, it will really help you, really, really help you. So we are being told to sell. We are being told to sell. And you see the take profit is a bit far. Can you see the take profit is a bit far? So whenever you are told to sell a market and now we are selling with the knowledge of it's a double top, short position, we will go to four hours. Why are we even shifting to four hour? Because we want to understand what four hour is doing. 
because we don't want to do like the way weekly was a double top and then people stayed on the double top and they never knew that daily head up pattern. So they cannot, I have told you, once one pattern is given on the one time frame, they cannot now mess this time frame. The only time frame they can mess is four hour. So they can create a four hour pattern to mess this daily time frame. So we will go to four hours so that we can, because already we know daily is a sell, there's nothing else. So we'll go to four hour to know where do we take profit? Where is the best place to take our profit? So let's go to four hour and find out. So we have our four hour. That's our four hour. Can you see the four hour? We have our four hour like that, and we are hoping to enter that market. And you see, initially, the take profit according to daily, it's supposed to be where? It's supposed to be here. According to daily, the take profit should be there. But now four hour will give, you, give us a guideline of where the take profit should be. And because four hour has so many, so many zones, the four hour zones, it can be, the four has so many zones, zones like the market can come here, it can come here, it can come here, it can come here. So what will happen is that we can take like one zone. This zone, it's what has been concentrated like that. And mostly if you check, if you check this area, because it's not like you're blinded, we are not blinded on this area on these zones, we are just putting lines, hoping the market will come breaking. And then there's the area the market will consolidate, that's the zone that we will take our profit out. Because this is like a swing trade. We are hoping to get how many pips? I hope you are following. The only way we, the only reason why we are on four hour is because we don't want to trade blindly 454 pips. We want to trade, yes, it's a swing trade, but we are looking for any exit signal and the exit signal on four hour is these three zones there is zone one two and three the market might react on those zones so let's see what happened so the market starts to to go down range so let's see what happens notice with for me i don't use stop loss so for me, I don't use stop loss. So don't be lied to on this stop loss. The pattern on the daily was this, this angle. Can you see? There's this angle, this angle. So if they will break, if they will break, you see this angle, if they will break here, we are canceling that trade. And that is a bit of drawdown because you have entered with that engulf and that's 177 pips already. So what they are trying to do, when we went on four hours, when we went on four hours, there was this activation of the double bottom. That's what made the market go up. So let's continue, let's continue. So what happens is that they already know if they want to violate, for me, I will even be adding new positions, adding new positions for this trade. Why will I add more positions? Because whenever the market has tell you sell and you sell, the only way you can exit is they break this area because if they break this area, we will not have a, a possible double top. So I will even add more position on this area. I will add more positions. And they have given us a very good red candle. I'll still add more positions. And you can see, why do you think the market went up to do? It went to remove everyone. The market was trapping both buyers and sellers. And that's why people, well, that's why many people, when they draw down, you need to ask yourself two questions. Are you in drawdown because the market is retracing? or in, in drawdown because the market has, it's not your direction. Because many people will be making money with this buy, but they're in the wrong position. Why are you even buying when the market has given you a, a entry for sale? 
So yes, I was in drawdown, but now all those pips that I was in drawdown in two days, I regain back that money and I make how many pips? Like 214. Notice by the time the market was going up, I was stacking in trades. Why? Because I knew the buy is just for trapping those people. And I, I don't want, you know, when we are doing back testing, I don't want to do a perfect back testing where there's no mistake. That's not that's not the thing. I don't want to show you what you should just follow structure, nothing else. And because we have followed structure, nothing to worry. So we are still on this sale. We are still on this sale. And let's see what happens. So we are still on four hour. Notice what I've said. On four hour, this is what I've told you. On four hour, the market can still do what? The markets can still come here. So you see, the market is still go going down. It can still come here. It can still come here. Like four has so many, so many zones. But we will not, we will know the zone that the market will come when it is ranging. You can know the area for uh, the area to check. So you have your short position. Notice we had entered here. We were taken on a drawdown. And you see, you cannot end, your stop loss was above that double top, the end of that double top. For me, I don't use stop loss. So if you're using stop loss, you can use ATR, ATR um, tool to help you. So the initial take profit is way down there, the green line, but we will be exiting where we will see the ranging. So you can notice the market going down very well, going down, going down. And they have broken our first support. So we remove that. That's not our interest. Why? The support area has been broken. And then let's see what happens. So you can see what is happening, guys. The market has started to range you cancel that trade. So you will come out of that trade with how many pips? Let me show you. There is a trade you entered above here. So you will cancel that trade with 234 and there is a trade you entered. Why? Because now you are not, you are careful. They might be changing. The chameleon might be changing from black to another color. So the other trade, it has not gone draw down. It's like 40 pips. So you cancel that trade. Why are we canceling that trade? the market has started to range. And I told you, the only way you will know when to exit is if the market ranges. Can you spot? We were hoping the market will range around here. We were hoping the market will range around here. We are hoping the market will range around here. But what has happened? The market has started to range. I want to remove this box because it is available on the daily time frame. So it's not supposed to be on the one, on the four because it is confusing us. It will only be available on the daily. So imagine a new pattern, pattern. Now this is pattern what? Pattern four, another double bottom. And this double bottom, it's not even available. The double bottom is not available where? On the daily. Let me show you. There is nothing. Can you see? There is nothing like a double bottom on the daily. So they know many people will be blinded. More so those who are trading only daily, they, they, they think there's no danger, yet there's danger. So we are now trading pattern four. Let me tell you, if there's a video you will watch multiple times is this one. You have to keep watching it because the only way you can perfect your analysis, the only way you can perfect your analysis is by watching this video. So I want to remove this uh, from the one four hour so that we can have our own analysis. So you can see that double bottom has taken us to what we keep saying. We keep saying that if you have a double top, two things can happen. Double bottom, sorry. If you have a double bottom, two things can happen. You can have a cup and handle or a complete double bottom. So there's higher chances that this market can buy and there's still there's a higher chances it can sell and support the double top that is on, on, the, on the daily. So you have a double top like that. 
and we have the half like that. So the market is ranging. It is not even touching the half. So maybe it is touching the half of the half. When the market ranges and it's not touching the half, we might think, what if it is ranging at the half of the half? And that's what's happening, half of the half. So in our mind, we know it's either two things. These are possible double bottom. It's either two things on this double bottom. If it completes, if it completes the double bottom, if it completes this double bottom, it will be supporting the ranging pattern because it will be going to complete that pattern. But if it, if it does a cup and handle, what do you think will be happening? It will be supporting the double top on the daily. And that's the trick they use always, always. When I realize this, that's why people say, oh, you analyze well. It's not about analyzing well. It's understanding the shifting of pattern. When you stay with one pattern, you'll be tricked. When you stay with one pattern, you'll be tricked. So the first scenario is a cup and handle, inverted cup and handle. That is the first scenario, guys. The first scenario is what? A cup and handle. That is our first scenario. And you notice the cup and handle will go this distance down. So the cup and handle will go this distance. Like that. So they have created a new pattern, even to give us hands up on the half. So we will be targeting up to half. So that is our half, guys. And the only way we can target cup and handle if they break that double bottom. How do you target cup and handle? If they come and violate this area. That's how we target cup and handle. And let me tell you, you might think that this video has wasted your time, but let me tell you, you'll be seeing things differently from now henceforth. Now, that is our cup and handle. You need to understand again that this market might get rejected around this area. Why? Because they can form another possible double bottle. So you don't trade flu like all the way. You do, these are not the trades that you swing. Why? The only trade you swing is which monthly has accepted. Notice, even from the monthly, when I started, I told you we have an indecision candle. This is the cause of indecision candle. The indecision means anyone can be a winner. The buyers can be winning. The sellers can be winning. So by the time we are waiting, now we are waiting. We are not in a trade because now we have pattern. This is a new pattern. So we have double bottom pattern four, pattern four. So it's a double bottom. That's, and then we have pattern five, which is cup and handle. You see, we have pattern five cup and handle. The question is, which pattern do you think they will pick? They have given you an option. So would you be selling because you're selling with the double top of daily? Would you be that ignorant saying, let me trade because I will trade with the double bottom of daily? No, we can't be that ignorant. We cannot be that ignorant. So let's see what happens. We are waiting for either they have to break even we cannot enter this trade, why? As long as the half has not been broken, we can't enter buy. And as long as, so we, would, we want to avoid to trade at the middle because at the middle is where people will be trapped. Because why, why are you buying and on the daily you are supposed to sell? Remember we exited a sell trade just because this market can go again. So we are not even looking for a buy right now. So the market misbehave, misbehave ranges, ranges. So all these are time you are putting, understanding the market, analyzing, just realizing. You can imagine 
the first attempt to break that zone and they have broke that area. Can you see? They have broke that area. So what I, now it is evidence this market is going to sell. Evidence the market is selling. Can you see? Evidence the market is selling. So you come and put your sell position, short position. So how many people have been trapped with this buy alone? Many. You put your, your position and like I said, you target to that zone. The reason why we are targeting to that zone because they can still do another thing. That's like 53 pips. They can still do another thing. Activate this double bottom and the market by why would you wait for you to be wrong? It's, it's better to take 50 pips rather than waiting. So the market uh, go retest, comes down. And you see, the minute you are right, the market does not move quickly. So, and the take profit has been hit again. And the market can go on and go on and go on like that. The only thing here I want to teach you is that by the time this market, you see, we have a cup and handle. They have activated a new double bottle. That's a new double bottle. That's a new double bottle. So as long as, as, as much as you want to trade this double bottom, you have to wait for an entry. So when you're waiting for to trade this double bottom, as long as they will not violate that red line, you have a double bottom. So if you play this and you see what really happened in this area, The minute they break this double bottom, forget about buying and look for sell for buy opportunity. Why? They have shown you that sellers are still in control. But you see, we cannot sell at this area because it will still be a trap. When you sell at this area, it will still be a trap. We sell with a pattern. So because we want to sell, you can only sell with a pattern like a double top or a... We can only sell with a pattern like a double top or an inverted cup in hand or a ranging. So because for uh, daily has shown you, a uh, four has shown you this market will sell. The only now way you can look at a good sell position is when you come to daily, let's see, you come to daily. And now my chart is have a lot of stuff. I don't, I think I'll just delete. And this is the zone. You see this zone? They can go back here and create a double top. They can come back here and maybe create a double top. So when you sell at this area, you're better than selling at this area. Selling at this area because market will come to retrace. So let's see if the market retraced. Never sell. Even if you had gone, enter that sell and you see this indecision mark, indecision candles, they're just telling you not to, to re-enter. So the candle will be looking to change. Can you see? who? Which pattern now are we? Pattern six. Pattern six, a new double top. Pattern six. And the best thing, the double top is, the, the, the double top is confirming the previous double top. Pattern six, double top. And this is our neckline. Now we have shifted to daily because for hours there's nothing we, they can do. So you have shifted to daily. Again, you start WBB, you start your chart, you start again, you get a red candle, you put a box in the market set, and it can continue and continue and continue like that. What we have learned from this video is that by the time you are taking one trade, you will be getting shifting of the market. If I can't, we cannot finish, we cannot finish because a new pattern will create a new pattern. A new pattern will always create a new pattern. And you will find that this pattern, if we go to four hour, they still have, you see, let me show you on four. The minute they broke here, 
without its then they broke here. They made sure they created a small double bottom. This double bottom. Can you see this double bottom? And then they come again and they create a double top. So when someone tells you that double bottoms and double bottom double tops don't work, I pity them. Why? Because the market will always move in those patterns. So your work from this video, I have opened your eyes. I have told you, you have been trading one pattern, not knowing that God is giving you many and multiple patterns. Guys, this video is more than one hour. This video is more than one hour. I've never done a very long video like that. I don't know who will end this video. If you have ended this video, say I've ended. Comment down below, say I have watched to complete and I'll know you're the real one. And if you end this video, all that knowledge that I have, may you receive it. The grace that I have, may you receive it. Just by honoring the grace and by watching my videos, automatically you'll be seeing the market like me. God will revisit your case. The Holy Spirit will be your mentor and you'll be watching and analyzing and getting in and making profit. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Love you so much. Bye-bye.